we also send signals with our hair. Hair is an outgrowth of skin, made from the same fibrous material as the dead outer layer of the epidermis. Hair grows out of tiny pits called follicles. The body has five million follicles, up to 150,000 on an average head. Viewed through a special lens, hairs form a dense forest with the occasional strand of gray and a hint of dandruff. Humans are hairy. Look close and you'll find we have more hairs on our bodies than a gorilla. It's just shorter and finer. Only our palms and the soles of our feet are hairless. Each hair grows a hundredth of an inch per day. You have so many hairs on your head that each day you grow a staggering 40 yards of hair. That's the length of this rope. Hair is built to withstand punishment. The ends of these hairs are over three years old. They've survived thousands of combings and hundreds of blow dryings. Magnify a hair thousands of times and you see its suit of armor, an overlapping layer of tiles like the outer layers of skin. Our dead hair is our crowning glory. It makes statements about us and our personalities, and we put it through hell. A microscope reveals the damage to hair we've abused. Harsh treatment, since the hair on our heads protects our skulls from sunlight and cold. It can even help us attract a mate. The hair on our bodies, and especially our eyes, also acts as a security system. If a fly tries to crawl into the corner of your eye, it's confronted with a barricade of hairy lashes designed to keep out intruders. Our eyebrows are natural sweatbands, keeping sweat from our forehead from dripping into our eyes. And in the ear, hairs glisten with tiny drops of wax to filter out dust and bugs. Nails, like hair, are dead outgrowths of skin. They have no nerves, but they're embedded in sensitive skin to pick up the slightest impact. This is the magnified tip of a nail with a glistening grain of metal from a nail file. The complex world of skin and hair serves many purposes, but as we grow older, it shows signs of change. Male hormones control pigment and follicles. With age, these hormones cause some follicles to shrink, so they produce fine hair like a baby's. How much of your head is affected depends on your genes. Gray hair has simply lost its color. Production of pigment slows with age. Skin, too, shows the ravages of time. Skin around the eyes is a giveaway. Here's how it changes with time. 
at two, at six. At twenty, at thirty, at forty, at fifty, at sixty. The crags and crevices of advancing years. But why should skin look older? The outer layer is continually replaced, so even at ninety. The surface skin is only three weeks old. What goes wrong? Kate is having her skin checked by a cosmetics expert. She's now in her mid forties. An impression is taken of her skin. Under the microscope, this is what young skin looks like: the typical quilted pattern of youth, dewy and puffy, lubricated by oil from the pores. And this is what the years have done to Kate. Her skin looks dry and stretched. As we get older, our skin gets thinner. But are all the symptoms due to age? Look closer. You see brown marks, blemishes, yellowing. The skin becomes wrinkled. It loses elasticity. We assume it's due to age. But the real culprit is the sun. This sunbather is risking not just burns but photo aging from ultraviolet radiation. Her burns will heal, but deep inside the skin, there's more lasting damage. This is brown pigment from a UV overdose. Triggered into frenzied activity, a cell which makes the pigment has been shot into overdrive. And the feathery black structures of elastin, which make skin supple, are destroyed by UV. Elastin hardens into solid lumps. Most elasticity has been lost in the skin of this young sun worshiper. Feeling sun on our skin gives us a sense of well-being. Yet, against UV radiation, our remarkable suit of armor lets us down. We have no sensors to detect it. We don't even know it's doing us harm until after the damage is done. Skin is our first line of defense, and our personal thermostat. It keeps us in touch with our world and each other. It enables us to smile. It takes the strain of every motion. In pursuit of the body beautiful, we put one of our most precious and marvelous possessions at risk. It's the most exquisitely engineered protective coat ever devised, and one that deserves protection.